The IRS helps criminals for money. That was gonna be an interesting one. I've been recommended several times this video and I, I just figured it's a good time for me to delve into this. Nothing in this video is tax advice. It's mostly just me. Nothing in this video is tax advice. It's mostly just me getting upset. <laughs> this video is brought to you by Steelhead Outdoors. They're the ones that make my gun safe. I love the fact that he starts with like, this is just me being upset. Like half the videos that I've watched are like this. <laughs> I love it when he goes off on a rant about something. He's like, bro, I can't believe what I just found out and just sits down and makes an entire video of it. They make all their stuff right here in America, Minnesota to be exact. To the best of my knowledge, they're the only ones making modular gun safes. This safe comes apart into a top, a bottom, a door, and three sides. Obviously, it can only be taken apart from the inside, but this means that you and one buddy can take apart your safe and move it if you ever need to. You don't need to hire a special company with fancy equipment and it's way safer for everybody. They also make the best lock boxes on the market. It's way safer. I see what you did there. Most lock boxes are made out of very thin metal, borderline tin foil, and this thing is made out of 12 gauge steel, which is the same steel that most gun safes are made out of. This thing weighs. You're looking for a new pounds. safe. So if you want to check them out, I'll have well, a link down below. Let's get back to the video. Okay, I'll give you the link to the video. Why is it that every year when I have to go do my taxes, why doesn't the IRS just send me a bill for how much money they think I owe them? Okay, if you're not an American or you're too young to do your taxes or you do do your taxes and you just don't really pay attention to what's going on, I'll explain. When World War II was kicking off, the American government needed more money, so they went to every employer in the country and said, hey, you have to tell us how much money you pay all of your employees. So now the IRS knows how much every single person in America makes every year. Because I, I like how my cat's meowing and this is going like, we don't have that here. <laughs> Excuse me, here, here we don't have that. <laughs> Yes, I know, I know, Shop. It's very different. It's interesting to find out about the IRS, though. Because of that, the IRS now knows how much money every single person owes them at the end of the year. Okay, so now that we're on the same page that the IRS knows how much money each person owes them, mm -hmm. why doesn't the IRS just send you a bill every year? Because in America, they don't. They don't send you a bill. You have to go to a tax professional or you have to use some software. Basically, you have to pay like upwards of $200 to have somebody or some program do your taxes, which is a fancy way of saying that program or that person has to okay. figure out how much money you owe the IRS, even though the IRS already fucking knows that. Okay, do you understand the gravity of what I've just told you? Because whether you realize it or not, this is a conversation that every American has with the IRS every single year. Hey, this is like really annoying to be fair. I got it. Like, I would like be annoyed at the fact that like, you know how much I owe you. Why don't you just tell me? Why? Why would you make the system more complex or complicated than it needs to be? Why? <laughs> Hey, it's tax season. Pay me. Uh, all right. How much do I owe you? That's the fun part. How much do you owe me? Like, you don't know how much money I owe you? Oh, no. I am I know exactly how much money you owe me to the cent. Okay, so then why don't you tell me and I'll just pay you? Uh, because fuck you. That's why. Okay, well, if you're not going to tell me how much money I owe you, I'm just not going to pay you. Oh, well, that's not really an option because if you don't pay me, I'm going to throw your ass in prison. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love the conversations he has with himself. Shop, what are you doing? I'm trying to learn about taxes here. Not even Shop wants to know about this. He's like, fuck this shit, man. I'm out. <laughs> It's very funny because like here, right, if you're in a company and you have income and stuff, like that's taken from your salary and paid every month by the company themselves. You only have to like do the whole declaring thing if you if you are the owner, you know, like if you have a company or if you're like self-employed. But if you're just someone that works at a company, you don't have to do jack shit. Everything's done for you. Oh, well, don't want that. Okay. Um what if I overpay you? Uh, well, then I'm going to keep all the extra money and not really tell you about it. Okay, and what if I underpay you? Uh, well, that depends. If you underpay <laughs> me a little bit, I'll just financially penalize you. If you underpay me a lot, I'll also throw your ass in prison. Uh, what the fudge? Eh? Welcome in, Arch um, Lepercle. Okay, I guess. Yeah, I know. I can hear the keyboard warriors already. Huh, you're so stupid. The reason the IRS does that is because the IRS doesn't know if you're going to claim any deductions or not. Buh. Okay, that's a bullshit ass excuse. If you know nothing about taxes, you can do your taxes one of two ways. There's the standard deduction or you can do an itemized return. The standard deduction is just the normal amount that the IRS assumes every single person in America has that's not taxable income. In 2023, it's $13,850. The IRS just assumes you have that much in write-offs. But if you have significantly more than that in tax write-offs, you can then do an itemized 
annualized return. And in that case, you have to write down every single tax deduction that you have and turn that into the IRS. And then you can get a higher deduction on your taxes. Okay, here's okay. a kicker with that. 87% of Americans do the standard deduction. That means the IRS could literally send every American a bill at the end of the year and it could say, hey, Here's how much money you owe us in Damn. taxes, assuming that you're getting the standard deduction. That is like so many people are actually like just getting the standard one and not doing itemized. I felt like the whole point of the American system was that you would itemize your shit. I'm surprised. Wow. I, I would assume that people choose the standard deduction because one, they're lazy, two, they don't know how it works, and three, they can't be bothered with that shit. I don't, I don't actually know that. This is surprising. I, I really thought that most people have like an itemized one damn it makes sense what he's saying though to just send everyone then the, the standard one and then the people that don't want it they can just do their own thing given the percentage damn oh thank you arch I which again is 87 percent of people and you can just have a little check mark box that says Yes, I agree to this and you can mail them a check or they can have a little fill in the blank where you give them your bank account information and then they just send you your tax return. Or you could hit, no, I don't agree with this because I have more write-offs, AKA 13% of the population. And then those 13% of people can go and have a tax professional prepare your itemized return. And then you could do your taxes that way. Literally for 87% of the country, tax season can be over and done with just as fast as you pay a power bill. But no yeah, that like, it makes a lot of sense. That's what he's saying, man. Yes, it's more work on the IRS side, but like it would help so many people to like just get it over with and not have to stress and, and worry about it. And if that's a, such a pain, just tax them an extra for the fact that you're mailing them the thing. Make it opt in. I don't freaking know. Like, why aren't you getting this? What? No, instead, you have to get all your paperwork together. You have to go schedule an appointment with a tax professional, turn it into an all-day event to go get your taxes done, or you have to spend hours upon hours desperately trying to figure out how to do it yourself with some online program, and it's a giant waste of absolutely everybody's time. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Oh my God, that makes sense. Why on earth doesn't the IRS just do that? And obviously it's because they make more money doing it this way. Okay, everybody's talking about AI, artificial intelligence True. and how scary it is. I'm convinced that AI has been around forever and the first AI ever invented was bureaucracy. Okay, the minute you get more than like 10 people in a group and you give them one goal and tell them that's their only job and that none of them are individually responsible for their oh. actions, everything's gonna go completely off the rails, okay? The IRS lets this happen because guess what? The tax filing industry in the United States is $11 billion a year. Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and say that a little bit slower. Americans pay $11 billion a year to seek help from professionals to find out some shit the government Whoa. already fucking knows. But what the fuck? Why is it so high? What? <laughs> that is so high. Holy shit. Wow. That's insanity. But because the IRS only cares about making more money, the only thing the IRS comprehends is that's 11 billion more dollars that they get to tax. So it's in their benefit to keep it this way. It is the most insane and corrupt Come shit here, on the planet. Buh! Well, it wouldn't be fair to the other 13% if they were the only ones that had a difficult tax season. But get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. If that's the, that's the dumbest fucking argument, man. If like, if you're complaining that everyone should suffer because you want to suffer or because like your system is more complex, then that's just being an asshole. I would not want it to be harder for other people just because it's harder for me. The heck? Okay, just so we're on the same page, if this went into effect tomorrow, I would be in that 13% that was still doing an itemized deduction. I can still appreciate the government trying to make life and tax season easier for yeah. any seven percent of people duh like any decent human being would want it better for the majority like why would you be a dick a selfish person yes shab i know i see you sorry he's, he keeps coming in between me and the phone so i have no tracking <laughs> i don't give a fuck if it's fair to me okay because anybody in that 13 percent that's doing an itemized oh, deduction including God. me knows how to game the system so they can make even more money don't 
don't fucking worry about them. Okay, I mean, for example, look at my couch, okay? Everybody jokes it's a casting couch. That's not a casting couch. That's my tax write-off couch. If you watch <laughs> my videos, sometimes there's just random shit sitting on that couch. It's not because I wanted random shit to be on my couch in that particular video. It's because whatever's on that couch becomes part of the scene of my video. Hence, it's a tax write-off because I make money from making YouTube videos, okay? So I- Damn, that's an interesting way to game the system. So if it's in his video, it counts as needed for the video and they don't really look at it? That's smart. You get to write that shit off. You write it off. Who writes it off? I don't know. The government, the write-off people. My point being, everybody <laughs> in that 13% knows how to play the game. Don't feel bad for them. Everybody's worried about artificial intelligence taking over, but it already has because the first artificial intelligence was bureaucracy and it's already taken over the entire world and it's corrupt as fuck. I mean, think about it. Bureaucracy mm -hmm. is a nameless, soulless entity that yep. is given a single task at its inception and then does whatever it can to accomplish that task. And it never gets updated, optimized, revamped, revamped verified, rechecked. They go by the system of if it ain't broken, don't fix it. There's no quality of life improvement across the years. And like, I went to do something and they were still like pen and papering. Let me, hush. <laughs> okay. The ridiculous level that we're at. I had to request online access, like have an online account, right? I wanted an online account to access some things. And I had to go in person to make a request to write it down on paper that I want an account, an online account opened with my information. Their website just doesn't let you make a fucking account. And it's not like they're making the account for you. No, they send you home and then a tech person looks over your request and you get an email to make your own account aka the thing you could have done in the first place a few days later after that and i'm like why <laughs> dear god why that is borderline the <laughs> definition of ai and if you want to prove uh. that the irs is absolutely corrupt and only cares about collecting as much money as possible all we have to do is read their own handbook can't watch this let's pull up publication 525 it is a waste of time. 2023 taxable and non-taxable income okay this is basically just what you can claim as deductions what you can't how you go about doing it and every different type of situation oh. that you could possibly come up with over the course of like 50 pages. Okay, now if I could bring your attention over to page 37 under the article that says stolen property. Quote, if you steal property, you must report its FMV, fair market value, in your income in the year that you what? steal it. Unless in the same year you return it to its rightful owner. Yeah. <laughs> I thought me having to go to create an online account and making it offline was ridiculous. But like, you have to report how much you stole? Dear God, why would you do that? Why is that even a clause? Why is that even a thing there? Do they not report you for the fact that you're reporting stolen stuff? Eh? What? Yeah, translation, they don't care if you steal shit for a living. As long as they get their cut, they don't care. This isn't a just what? a right entity. This is literally a mafia boss. Business bad? <laughs> Fuck you, pay me. Oh, you had a fire? Fuck you, pay me. Oh, don't worry, it keeps going. Uh, page number 32, <laughs> under bribes. Quote, if you receive a bribe included in your income. if you steal something you have to report its value i guess like you don't like what they're saying is you have to report stuff but you don't have to like say how you obtained it right they just care that if you got money in any form you have to like report and they get a cut this is hilarious man yeah like any income must be reported you don't have to say how you obtained it it's surprising to me that they don't want to know how you obtained it though like what the heck yeah if you receive a bribe included in your income like let me let me move myself because this video seems to be like, right, there we go. Oh. And I know what you're thinking. What if there's illegal activity, but it's not necessarily stealing and it's not necessarily a bribe? Oh, well, they put a catch-all on page 35. Oh, there it is, right between reporting taxable payments and <gasps> Indian fishing rights. Uh, illegal activities, and I quote, income from illegal activities, such <laughs> as from dealing illegal drugs, must be included in your income on a Schedule 1, Form 1040, Line 8Z, or on a Schedule C, Form 1040, if from self-employment activity. And I know- Excuse me, what? Why is- Oh, dear lord. Ah. Uh, who the f- 
fuck is gonna ever do that? Like, why? Why Why would they even report? Like, it's their duty then to report you to authorities, isn't it? Why would you self-report your illegal drug money to them? Oh, God. A smart criminal hides their crimes, a wise one avoids tax fraud. <laughs> Oh, uh, you'd be surprised. You need proof of income. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. I I cannot. What is this? Activity. And I know what you're thinking because you're a sane, rational person and Welcome I thought back, the Opal. same exact thing. Clearly, this is just a clever ploy to try to catch criminals, right? Yes. And if I don't pay up, I'll go to jail for tax evasion. <laughs> I'm crazy enough to take on Batman, but the IRS, no, thank you. Wrong. I've octuple checked. The IRS has no legal what obligation to report heck? illegal activities to any type of authority other than itself. And what? For real? They don't have legal obligation? What? What? Ex How? Why? What? Huh? Like, doesn't that make you an accomplice? Like, uh, <laughs> huh? I'm so confused by that. Like, why, dear Lord, why? You remember, because the IRS is basically an artificial intelligence whose sole purpose is to collect as much money as possible, it doesn't benefit from reporting criminals as long as those criminals are willing to pay taxes. Okay, and I can oh prove this on a large God. scale because marijuana, cannabis, in the United States is illegal on a federal level. I understand that it's legal or decriminalized in some states, but it's still illegal federally, meaning that the DEA, a federal law enforcement agency, could roll into your fully state legal cannabis dispensary and arrest all of you. Okay, and this has already been settled That's by the Supreme Court in Gonzalez versus Reich in 2005 when the DEA did just that in California. So knowing that growing wow. and distributing cannabis is illegal, the IRS has decided that they're going to report all of it to the federal government. No, I'm just kidding. They decided they were going to come up with their own special document. It's called a 280E, and it basically says, hey, what you're doing is illegal on a federal level. We know it's illegal, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to charge you double the taxes, and you're not going to be allowed to take any tax write-offs. And by the time it's they not like how is this even legal how is this even allowed man they just made their own shit up and they went like yeah we're gonna tax you double and then well you can still get in trouble and people can still close your shit uh because because feds but like we we just want an extra cut to profit while you're allowed to operate jesus christ man they should have called it for 20 j <laughs> yeah missed opportunity <laughs> Jesus Christ, the absolute greed. This is literally the definition of like, I don't really care what you do as long as you give me a cut. It's all said and done, the entire cannabis industry pays about three and a half times the taxes of any other industry, all because the IRS knows that they can get away with it because they know that that shit's illegal on a federal level because the IRS just wants to make more money. I cannot tell you over the course of my life how this many times insane. I've heard somebody express the general sentiment along the lines of, man, I wish they taught me useful stuff in high school, like how to do my taxes or balance a checkbook but instead I know the Pythagorean theorem and I'm be honest at this point I'm convinced that they don't teach this in school because if they did people would know about it and if people knew about this nobody would put up with this bullshit okay I can't do this anymore I need a beer I'm losing my mind um I get I mean honestly it's kind of true in the sense that like I'm pretty sure if people were more educated about things that are happening there would be a lot less people that are happy with how things are done and there would be a lot more disgruntled folks also the industry would come crashing down if people knew how to do their, their bloody taxes like in uni, I had like one year of accounting. I literally had to learn how to do accounting just because they wanted me to have that knowledge in case I ever open my own company and I want to do my own shit. Yes, in conclusion, everybody's worried about artificial intelligence taking over the world and in their head, they're picturing something like the movie Terminator with <laughs> Skynet and robots trying to kill everybody. But in reality, AI has already taken over the world. It's called bureaucracy and it's not trying to kill everybody. It's just trying to milk society dry of its time and its money so that it can just preserve itself even though it no longer even needs to exist. <laughs> Bruh, th like, isn't that like every single person and every single system trying to milk you dry of everything you're worth? That's what it feels like nowadays. You get, like, nickel and dimed everywhere. For everything. Like, the world is going to shit, man. Exist. Thanks for watching. Best way to support the channel is go buy oh, some merch over the fat My, my mind is I'm blown by this video, man. Buy. Quack bang. Out. I, 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 like, my mind is just I live like, in a complete clown poof. world. Even the king's goons in Robin Hood tell you how much money you owe. <laughs> that ending.
is perfect. <laughs> I love the fat electrician. It got super funny. And I learned a lot of shit about America that I had no clue about. Holy moly, damn. Oh, damn. What is this level of insanity?